for those of you who don't know, this is Russell's shed. Oh, here's our, here's our man, your camera. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. Well, hello and welcome to this video. And a special welcome to those that have shown a bit of an interest in this engine on the knee slider side with their comments. It's always welcome. We've been doing a bit of dynamic testing on this engine. And while we had the front cover off, I thought I'd show you around and demonstrate what we're trying to do here and give you an idea and a bit of a look into the side of the engine. So what we've been doing really is dynamic testing, running the engine with a petrol motor to uh, check on the balance, make sure it's running smoothly and to see how the oil system works. So I thought I'd just show you around the oil system and the inside and then uh, after that we'll put the front cover on and, uh, and run it again with the uh, motor so you can see the engine turning over. So I'll just uh, grab my pointer and we'll come around the back of the engine here and we'll start off with a a tempering tank that we made up to hold oil. You might have to come around this way a bit more. And that is a line leading into this triple stage pump here. Now this pump has got two uh, scavenge sections and a pressure section. And when we're running the motor with the uh, petrol engine, we'll just have the bu a bucket under there so these two pumps can just circulate oil to keep them wet. And so the oil enters this pump here and then goes through these lines here and enters the engine here. This is a check valve to allow excess flow to bleed off back to the tank, should it be necessary, but unknown at this stage. So the oil passes through a pipe into the front section of the engine, and the oil emerges here and comes into this manifold, and the oil is then fed into this pump, and is also fed into this gallery here. Now this pump here, through these lines, through the filter, through the solid section of this manifold, and into the slip ring manifold here, which pumps oil into the crankshaft. The rest of the oil comes into this manifold through this line here and into this gallery which then forces oil through these lines and up to the cam. And this one, this particular cylinder has got the head on with a cam sitting inside so we can have a visual look at how much oil is coming out and we can also measure the oil flow uh, by timing it into a container here to see uh, how many litres per minute we're getting. This cover, when the cover goes on, it seals against this face here and seals up this cavity. It's only low pressure, maybe 20, 20 pounds or something like that. And so we don't need any O-ring seals in or anything on it. And it just fits against the front case, front cover on here, and seals up. And also there's lines and galleries to feed oil to this front bearing. The other shafts that are turning the cams, the ends of them go into these bearings that will be all the way around here to support the gears that run the cams. So that's sort of an overview of uh, how the oil system works. So we'll shut down now and we'll put the front cover on. You can see the, one of the shafts there and another one there. This one turning the oil pump. This is one of the ones that um, also drives the camshaft and uh, these slot into the front cover as I just demonstrated with those bearings. So we'll shut down and we'll put the front cover on, take the engine outside and, uh, and we'll do some running checks so you can uh, see it in action.